What's going on, nerds? Welcome back. My name is Sned. So, not much to talk about with this intro. We, uh, we've been streaming over on twitch.tv slash snedglow, and I've built the giant dirt circle in the sky that our building, like our tower, is gonna go on. And then after that, I streamed where I built the, uh, the platform that our tower is actually gonna go on top of. But anyways, guys, let's jump right into this. Leave a like if you liked it, subscribe if you didn't, and please enjoy the episode. Welcome back, everybody. So... Today we're gonna we're gonna do a little something different. We are not going to work on anything magical. We're not gonna work on forbidden arcanas. We're not gonna work on ours. We're not gonna do any of that. It's not gonna be magical in nature. Can you actually believe it? Instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna explore a new dimension. Now, in here, I have all of the materials required to go to the two different dimensions for blue skies. So I'm thinking that we're going to explore one of them today. And the reason for that is I was doing some test designing on the on the wizard tower build and one thing that we're going to need is in blue skies. It is this stuff right here, the turquoise cobblestone. Now, I don't know which dimension to get that from, but I could go ahead and assume that it's the one that requires the turquoise stone bricks, the uh I think it's ever dawn. So, uh, that's what we're gonna do. Let's, uh, head over here. We'll set up another portal, and then we're gonna take our zeal lighter and, uh, light it up. That looks, uh, that looks pretty cool. So, if you remember, or if you watched it, my Better Minecraft series with Echo, we, we kind of explored, uh, did we explore both of them? Or was it just the Ever, Ever Dawn? I don't remember if we went into the Ever Bright. But, uh, I, I know a little bit about blue skies, but not a lot. I, I don't have too much experience in here. So, this is gonna be new, probably scary. We'll see what happens. I don't know specifically what... Oh my gosh. Um, oh, hello? Are you friendly? You guys kind of look scary, but like nice. But also, look at that. Okay, you're making some some weird sounds. I don't think I like it. Oh, that ticked all of them off. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, raw cara beef? Is that like a caribou cow? Whatever. What are these? Blue bright log. Oh, and blue bright saplings. Interesting. Okay. I want to check out this wizard tower, though. What are these? Brew berries. They seem to slow you down, maybe? Yeah, they slow you down, but they don't, they don't hurt like berry bushes. Hold on, I'm going to get into a tree just because I don't trust anything. What's that over there? Oh my gosh, there's just so much to look at. And what's this? Right, like we have to go in there, surely. It's a wizard tower, come on, I mean, we have to. Okay, let's go explore these guys, see if they're friendly. I won't attack them this time. Hello? What are you called? Azulf? Az? Azulfo? Hi friends. I don't like the noises you make, but hi. What is that? It's like a little sheep. Like a little goat thing. It's got curved horns. You're so cool looking. Stardust ram. Are you the same thing? Oh, you are a sheep. Do you drop wool? Yeah, they drop wool and uh, mutton. Whoa, what is that right there? Hold on, it says you can't do that here right now. I can't place torches down either. Oh, these blocks are cool. Glowing blinding stone. Oh, I see a vindicator over there. Well, if that's all I have to deal with, I'm okay with that. Oh, there's villagers here. Okay, what's in that chest? 
And look, what's this? High rope chest plate. How is this? Uh, it's a little worse than iron. Oh, a key. Some pine fruit. We don't really need the bread, but I'll take it. Wait, what's that? One down, three to go? Obtain a key from a blinding dungeon. Does that mean there's gonna be three keys? Well, what do the keys unlock? I have so many questions. I just need answers. We got more, oh wait, high rope gemstone? I'll take the books. And another key. Do they stack? Oh, they do. That's good. Hi, kitty. That was easy. And there's two brewing stands in here. What is this? Snowcap mushroom. I can't break anything. That's probably for the best. What's down there? Star flare. Let's close this. Anything in the brewing stuff? <gasps> Another key! Splash potion of poison and potion of healing. I'll take that for sure. Shall we continue up? There's one more room it looks like. And then maybe something at the top. Right, like surely there's got to be a boss or something. So I will say that during my experience with blue skies... I have not ever come across a dungeon. I didn't know dungeons were a thing. I- Oh, that's terrifying. I guess I could have assumed, maybe? Doesn't seem to be anything in here. Interesting. Any chests? I don't see any chests either. Okay, this is a weird room. Kind of scary. Makes me feel like somebody's about to jump out at me. But Spooktober is now officially over. Is this the top? Oh wait, what's this? Blinding keystone, ever bright, can't break. Can I assume? Oh, you need four dungeon keys to enter, enter what? I don't wanna enter anything. Perhaps we missed a chest. Oh, there's a chest. There's the last one. Okay, now what, what are we entering? Right, this thing is called a dungeon and dungeons to me typically have bosses and that's scary. Part of me really wants to Google what the heck is going to happen. But part of me wants to say screw it and just uh, hop in. Oh. Okay, this is not exactly a big room. Oi, that freaking hurts. Okay, it doesn't appear like my spell is hurting him at all. Which is kind of actually not good at all. Is there something I have to do in order to hurt him? Right, because my magic missile hits everything else. Why Why can't it hit him? Okay, I mean, I could just sit here and hit these guys all freaking day. Oh, he teleports. What other spells do I have? Okay, so I- Oh! The summon wolves. That's how I'm going to beat him. It's got to be that. Oh yeah, they're doing work on him. Oh wow, they're kicking his butt. There's a little tick mark at half health though. Does that mean something special is going to happen? These guys are red. Does that mean melee? Okay guys, kick his butt. I'll sit here as long as I need to. Wow, they are destroying him. Thank goodness I have a, a set of spell books because if I just came in here with one and all I had prepared was magic missile, I'd be so dead right now because there's no way I would be able to prepare it while he's shooting at me and these guys are doing their thing. Also, nice wizard tower. I think I'll take it. Get him. Get him, puppies. Yes! Good boys! Oh man! Summoner loot bag. Okay, so it looks like this was all of our loot. We got the Ethereal Arc ability. Grants a 20% movement speed increase. That sounds cool. 
We got the summoner trophy. We'll take a look at that when I can place it and break blocks. What else did we get? We got some blinding stone and glowing blinding stone. Uh, potion of healing. I had that. Uh, soul fragment. What is that? I can make warding pearls. Oh, the summoning table can make a villager. Uh, a summoner, it looks like. And I could trade soul fragments for emeralds. Interesting. Uh, I got this soulbound spear. The built-in loyalty. Uh, deflecting. I don't know what that does in the summoning table. We'll have to take a look at. Whew. Okay. So, can I break blocks now? Oh, I can. Interesting. How rare are these things? Like me, me, uh, finding, finding one right outside of my portal. What are the chances of that? Somebody let me know down in the comments. This is definitely going to be our tower away from our tower. You know what I mean? This thing is so cool. This place is just so gorgeous. Like it just looks so cool here. What's down here? This like black sand stuff. Oh, it's <laughs> it's midnight sand. Okay. Well, it's weird. It says if I smelt it, it turns into glass or midnight glass. Let's uh let's find out. Ooh, midnight glass. I kind of really like the look of this stuff. Look at that. Oh, yeah, I really like the look of that. And what about this? This ethereal arc. Do I right click this? And how many uses does it have? Hopefully not just one. Let's test it. Oh, it looks like just one. Oh, wait. Is that permanent? Is that a permanent boost? I just have 20% movement increase forever? Oh, that's nice. Oh, hello. Nope, you're scary. Polar... Polar... Polargeist? Sorry, pal. Do not appreciate... So, I think, I think that ethereal, oh wait, there's a Blue Skies book. I should have brought that, huh? Um, that ethereal arc was a permanent boost. Is there anywhere, oh wait, here we go. Blue Skies. Ever bright? I don't see ethereal arc in here. What was it called? I literally forget already. No, it was definitely ethereal arc. Arc. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm stupid. That's what these are. Oh. Oh. Okay. I had no idea what arcs were. Interesting. Okay. That's good to know. So now, I guess if, if you guys don't know, because I've seen this before in uh, like Better Minecraft and I think another mod pack that I played like once. I don't remember what it's called. But I, like, I had no idea what this was. Like I said, I didn't even know there were dungeons in in blue skies. I guess I could have assumed. I don't know. But, okay. So that's just a permanent 20% boost in speed. That's nice. That'll come in handy for sure. What is that thing? What are you? Oh, I know what you are. But this thing, it looks like a wolf. Oh. Ah! Oh, man. That scared the crap out of me. Um, Prowler? Something Prowler? Why did I come here in the first place? Oh, I need cobblestone. <laughs> That's why I came here. <laughs> wow, that was my bad on the uh, getting sidetracked there. So, w what little I know about this, I guess, like, about this mod is that your normal things, oh, these mushrooms look super cool, your normal things won't be able to do anything in this dimension. So, like, for example, if you have full netherite armor, items, whatever, and you come here, your netherite cannot break the, uh, the, what do you call it? Like, the cobblestone. Or maybe it can, but I don't think you get the item. It's kind of like starting a new game. You have to progress in this world. Luckily, though, I have, I have magic, so it's kind of unfair. So I won't do too much exploring in here. I'll just get my cobblestone and get out. But let me know, though. If you guys want me to progress through here like normal, let me know down in the comments. I'll absolutely do that. But for now, we're going to get all of the cobblestone we want. Star emitter? What's a star flare? How do I get these? Can I break them? Because I saw some in that uh, that wizard tower. 
What is a star flare though? That sounds super cool. I don't even know if those are like pick upable items. Pick upable? Interactable? I don't know if I could pick up slash interact with those items. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Oh. Okay. So what, do you just find them then? Like randomly? What's a star emitter? So what, I need slabs, a falsite ingot, which I guess I can make with this now, and then that star flare. Let's, uh, let's try that. Mysterious metal. Okay, so let's see what this star flare, star emitter is. Maybe it needs redstone? Okay, well, I didn't think this was gonna be a magic-based episode, but here we are. I just wanted to collect up some cobblestone, that's it. Oh, it's kind of dark in here. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that mobs can spawn, right? Are there bad guys? I mean, there's hostile animals. Maybe that's all there is? I'm not seeing anything, though. Like, any hostile mobs? Also, I really love this, like, music. This background music. It's so relaxing. Yeah, I don't see any hostile mobs. I don't think I'm gonna take the chances of there being any. But I don't see any. There's very clearly a lot to explore. Let me go ahead and collect up some cobblestone, and then we'll we'll see where we're at and come back to this. I wonder if you can make... Oh, that's not normal. You are scary. A couple of chests here. A snowcap oven. I will absolutely be taking that. What goodies do we have for us here? Ooh, not packed ice, please. Anything but packed ice. Uh, cryo root? I don't know if I could plant that or what. And where's that oven? Now we're cooking with shrooms? Wait. Hold on. Oh, this is not a normal furnace. Eternal steak? Oh, I could cook with... I saw a water bucket in there and mushroom stem. Yep, I am for sure taking this to explore it later. Okay, I've got a full inventory of cobblestone. Let's, um, get out of here somehow. Okay, let's see what these guys are all about. It makes one dang cool looking block though. Uh, I guess just like right here. Oh, and <laughs> literally. <laughs> It looks like a, like a headstone, like a tombstone, and it just says summoner. Okay, well, either way, that's still pretty cool. Now, what is this star emitter? Does the book say anything? Search. Star, star emitter. Usually accompanied by a villager working as a stargazer, this interesting device can put the astrolabe to use. Using an astrolabe on the object will allow the user to teleport back to its position. I'm sorry. Hold on. Teleport where now do what? How how get? Allows teleporting to star emitters at a cooldown cost. Oh I have to buy it oh, from a, a villager. A stargazer villager. Wait, I know where we can get one. Uh let's go back. Because in the wizard tower over there there's two villagers. And they were both leather workers, I think, but that's only because there were cauldrons in there. Which I assume were supposed to be toilets, but Either way, so if I destroy that, you get a little upset, but that's okay. Nope, get out of bed. Oh, there we go, stargazer. Okay, so I need star flares, or falsite ingots, and moonstone shards. Okay, let's do a quick little mining excursion. Now, let's see what else he has to offer. Okay, it looks like he always has the same trades. I can't find anything about this star flare. I don't know how to get it other than like finding some, but I I don't I can't find 32 of them unless maybe there's just some like out in the world or something. I don't know, but this um come here. This uh the falsite ingots and the moonstone shards for a clock, that I can do. So let me let me go do that. And then we will Oh, that's going to pick up something random eventually. We'll, uh, we'll be back once we have that. Okay, so I'm sitting here 
mining my own business. <laughs> Get it? And uh, I noticed over there, if you could see it, Armored Frost Spirit. So I'm going to go kill him, see what he is. I don't know how to get over there. Maybe just dig to him. But this might be indication that things do indeed spawn here. It looks like he might be down. Like down here? Go figure, he's out of my line of sight. Did you hear that like whispering? Frost spirit. Can I do anything to that thing? Okay, so maybe he was like a mini boss or something. Let's uh, let's see what the book says. Uh, the frost spirit is one of the most common enemies I found on my journey. These creatures aren't quite what they seem. They might look aggressive and angry, but underneath that ice is a small spirit that couldn't hurt a fly. Once freed, it will try to escape, likely dodging most strikes you make toward it. Once slain, you might be able to get yourself a soul fragment or two. I found that using any pickaxe does more damage to its icy body, usually slaying it quicker than my weaker swords. Do I have to slay that thing? Oh. Oh! I got two star flares! Okay, I'm back with a few stacks of everything, so let's go ahead and see what's next. Ventium ingot or glass? I wonder if Midnight Glass works. Doesn't seem to work. Okay. I guess I'm going to get some Ventium. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Oh, thanks for the discount, pal. Okay, so now... Frozen Bunker Explorer Map? And I need a compass, but I have a compass. Yep, I want one of those, please. Moonstone Lantern. That was a... Scary sound. I did not like that. Iron bars. And moonstone. Oh my gosh. I am two iron bars short. There has to be more iron bars here. There has to be. <gasps> Potted cherry sapling. This is the this is the cherry wood, the cherry that I've been looking for. Oh yes. Oh I want that. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, iron bars. Let's not get distracted. There we go. We got a couple more compasses. Running out of space really quick. There it is! The astrolabe! Oh. Are these a one-time use? Maybe I should have, uh, investigated if they were a one-time use or not. Allows teleporting to star emitter at a cooldown cost. Do I have to, like... Ah, there it is. Astrolabe position set. How... how do? Oh yeah. Also, do we want to check out this guy? This frozen bunker explorer map? That might be worth looking into. Yeah, let's do that and we'll go call it an episode. Oh, I bet that's it. Oh, I don't like the look of that at all. Well... Here goes nothing. Oh yeah, nope. Maybe this isn't all bad. Because I could just farm up these guys. And that'll allow me to farm up some star flares whenever I want. Is it a shift click? Doesn't appear to be. I don't I don't know how to use this thing. G Z X C V B Oh, there's a quick tool for your backpack? I wish I would have known that. G, R, E, Q, right click, middle mouse button, scroll wheel, left mouse button. What's that over there? I'm getting side. <gasps> Is that a village? Oh man. They're unemployed. Okay, 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 okay. Quick look around. Quick, quick, quick. And then we'll call it an episode. I don't really have the inventory space to 
to work with them right now anyways. So very, very quick look around. Okay, so I, I was hanging out in the pause menu, but because I'm on a server, it doesn't actually like pause the game. And while I was away, it got really dark and gloomy. Um, is this like weather? Should I be concerned? What's going on? Also, I was trying to find some answers about how to use the astrolabe, and I, I literally can't. I mean, like, I have I have no idea. Oh, wait. Oh. You have to right-click it. Like, hold right-click. Oh. Okay. So there you go. You hold the right click key. Let's go check one of these out real fast. I don't have like any inventory space, but let's just see what we're working with. More pine fruit, which we have at the house. Smoked cara beef. We'll take your emeralds because we're rude. Uh, you don't have anything else. And then let me in here. Sorry, sorry. Oh, this fountain looks really cool. Oh man, this whole place just looks so cool. Oh, this is a warding pearl. I saw this before. Um, I need to get rid of something. Uh, panic. Uh, I think things will stay away from me? Question mark? Let's see what the book says. Warding pearl. By combining a Seaclum's pearl and a soul fragment with falsite to create this, I'm able to prevent hostile mobs from appearing within a large radius. This is very helpful in this world since light sources like moonstone don't prevent mobs from appearing like they do in the overworld. I would also really like to know why it's so dark and gloomy out. It's kind of off-putting now. I'm not as much of a fan. But anyways, guys, that's going to be all for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next episode.